here. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of rain, really, but it, was, it never got as hot and humid, you know, as it does sometimes. Of course, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> Uh, I know I had to I had to get a dehumidifier to put in my basement here, and gosh, that thing seemed like it was running all the time. In fact, there was I didn't I didn't set it up so it drains itself. I didn't want all that extra water going into the septic system, so I just drain it myself. And gosh, for oh about two weeks there, I had to drain it every day, empty that thing out. But that's not too bad of a job, just. You know, it's just a couple of gallons of water that you dump outside, and it gets back in again through the air. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like moving much myself either. But you know, this, this, this move here actually, for the most part, was a good thing. Uh, where I was at before, we lived down in a floodplain, and uh, you know, I, I do it flooded. I lived down there about 20 years. I never had any real bad problems, you know, like water getting in the house, but I tell you, there was a lot of, excuse me, a lot of times when I was on my own little island, and, uh, you know, just worrying because you don't know once it starts to, you know, the water starts coming up, you don't know for sure when it's going to stop, and, you know, should I leave or should I stay, and <laughs> all that kind of stuff, and then here's the, uh, the, the long story short, the county bought up everybody that lived down in that area, and uh, they made me a good price for my for the old house, and I got a better house and a, a lot better location and all that kind of stuff. So this this move here was uh, was was a good thing, I guess. It just you know, takes you a little while to get organized and, and all that stuff. So that's that's where we're at now. So. Uh, we're up, up on the hill, uh, pretty much high and dry. Uh, KE5, WDT, this is an ULN. Well, our situation here, we're we're located uh, right beside a lake. I, I, I'm in a in good walking distance of a lake here. Um, a little lake called Lake Whitney. It's, it's pretty popular here uh, in this area. Um, lots of good fishing. We catch a lot of uh, catfish, uh, striper, black bass, um, just a lot of good fish and uh, very well known. It's got some beautiful bluffs, a lot of cliffs to, um, you know, very beautiful. It's a, it's, a, it's a deep water lake. There's points of it uh, where it's 120 feet deep. So during the summertime, this lake would be 20 feet low when most lakes will be dried up at 20 feet, you know, where you can't have access to the water with, you know, through the boat ramp or whatnot, uh, this lake, you know, you, it's workable 20 feet low, and that's what it was this past summer, it was about uh, 20 feet low, and um, as fast as it went down, it, it filled right back up after a few rainfalls and uh, that's just kind of how it works around here but uh, I enjoy living by this lake but uh, you know I used to camp by uh, by lakes you know that's what I used to do once I moved out here by the lake I, I don't camp out anymore this is too tempting to come home and take a shower and you know and that's cheating but anyways uh, I'm gonna have to let you go it's 305 here and uh well i guess uh I, you're in central time uh you need to, well anyways it's uh it's past my bedtime i'm on the opposite side of you it's past my bedtime and uh i'm fixing to have to call it a night i usually hang out on 75 as well on 3848 uh but uh sometimes i come here to 40 to do a little bit of uh long distance talking and it seems like conditions are pretty well. So it's good talking to you. And um, we'll have to do it again. N-A-U-L-N. This is KE5WDP. Say 73s and uh, be clear on your final. Yeah, okay. KE5WDP. This is N-A-U-L-N. Okay, I'm living by the lake there. That sounds kind of nice. Uh, well, you know, where I was at before, 
Texas to Ohio off a piece of wire and 100 watts ain't too shabby. Thank you, James, for the contact, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you again, talk to you again on 40 meters, or maybe possibly on 75. Texas to Ohio off a piece of wire in the front yard ain't too bad. And uh, I was hoping to get to have some foreign contacts tonight but at least we got this on video and this is something I've been wanting to do and we'll have to do more of these water gates in the future we'll talk to you later and thanks for watching my video 73